Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing like a try on haul type thing. Um, so if you guys watched the part 2 of my Christmas weekend away video um, back last year, you would um, have seen these clothes already because these clothes I actually got... Um, like given to me if you had clothes that you no longer wanted for or needed for your rewinds you were able to take it there and um like swap with other people and um i wasn't there when they swapped them all around but they put aside a bunch of like premium sized clothes for hudson and i haven't tried any of them on him just yet since i got him so that's what i'm going to do in this video i figured i'd film it just to I don't know, film it and to show you guys. Um. Okay, so this is the first little onesie. So it's this long sleeved onesie. It's like a baby blue and it says, I love my daddy. And it's got a little car. Um, my thoughts on this outfit is it's kind of tight on him. I don't like the tightness up on the arm area. This area is fine, but the arm area, like at the joint bit, it's really um, like. It sits weird on him because he's three quarter arms as well. It sits funny. Um, and then also you can see his cloth under here. And you can't really pull it up because it slips down when his arm's down. If you put his arm up, it covers the cloth all the way. But yeah, as soon as you put his arm back down, all of that cloth hangs out. So I'm not a huge fan of this outfit. It's super cute. But I'm not sure if I'll keep it for uh -huh. him. Um, plus it says daddy he doesn't have a dad but it's still really cute and even if it fit a little better maybe i would have kept it but um i'm not really feeling this onesie As you can see, this is too small, like, long ways. Like, it kind of fits okay around the arms here. But then this neck bit is all, like, open. And if I pulled that up, I don't think it'd really, like, it still slip down. And I don't even have all the buttons done up because, like, I already don't like how it's sitting on him. But... I think the nappy's also out, like, bulging here a lot. So, that also could be a reason, but, I don't know. This one could be a no. But at the end of the video, I'll let you guys know which ones I ended up keeping and which ones I'm going to donate. Okay, so this is the next onesie. It's the same style as the last one. It's just got different, like, colour scheme on it. Still shows the uh, little neck up there, and this isn't done up all the way, only the middle button. But again, it could be the pants that's stopping it, f uh, the, pants, the nappy that's stopping it from going all the way up. If you kind of like push it up, it covers it all, but I'm also not a big fan of how it sits on his arms again. So, um, yeah, let's change into the next one. Okay, so this is the third, um, no, fourth outfit. Um, it's a long sleeved onesie. It is a cute pattern, but it just doesn't sit right again. It's quite tight on the arms. It's not sitting right on the arms and up here. And then the neck is showing. This isn't done up all the way again. Could be the nappy. Um, it can definitely be done up all the way, but I just didn't find the need to. Um, it's going to come off in a few seconds. Um, so yeah, too tight on the arms, I feel like. And then the way you move the arms, the... I know, it just moves funny. So I don't like the style of this onesie. Okay, so this is the next outfit. It's super cute. The only problem is it's sleeveless, which means you can see Hudson's cloth because he only has three quarter arms. So... Um, this is really cute, um, it can definitely be used under his clothes, 
um, or something. But um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so here's the next little like item. So this is a shirt. It's newborn size. It's super cute, but really big. It actually fits him really well on the arms. Like it doesn't go over his hands. It fits him quite well, and it's not too baggy underneath here. It's super cute. Um, it's big around the neck and long, like it's a dress, but it's super cute. So Okay, so this is the next outfit. It's this super cute Harry Potter romper. It's got this, um, it says Future Wizard on it, which is super cute. How cute. Um, it's newborn size, so it's really big on him. Um, because rompers in newborn size are not a, like, not a good size for Hudson, his size. Um, uh, if you really wanted him to wear this, you could tuck the fabric, the extra fabric around his belly, but, um, back like back behind him, so it looks like it's fitting at the front. But then it's still kind of big at the shoulders and down here. But it's a super cute outfit. So okay, so this is the next one. We're moving into the, all of the sleepers now. This is the first one. It's a cute little bonds sleeper um i do think it's super cute it'd be it's really thin and stretchy material um i really do like it i think it's super cute it also has the fold over like socks bit on here so you can fold it over and then it also has the fold over mittens on here as well which is super cute cute uh fits okay and um yeah i like it Okay, so here's the second sleeper. It's this white, like, Bonds sleeper. It's super cute, but I don't like how the legs sit. Because Hudson's legs go, like, out and around, it looks funny at the bottom. So I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's also kind of tight. But it is a cute little sleeper. But I don't know. He has too many sleepers. So this is the next sleeper. It's very similar to the other one. It's like a another like Bonds suit. It's in blue. Still have that same problem, but it's not as noticeable. Um, and it's got a little bear on the front. This one has a little bear, like embroidered on there. Anyways, it's super cute, but he has so many sleepers. I'm not sure. Sorry. So this is the next outfit and I really like the pattern but I really don't like how this looks down here. It's like so bulky. I don't know. I really love the pattern. I think he's worn all of his sleepers yet and I've nearly had him for like three years. So that's got to say something. Okay, moving on to the last sleeper and the last item out of all of the clothing actually. Actually, this one I'm not even going to try on him because I can already tell it's too big. It's newborn size and it's like I don't know, double the size of him or like a head bigger than him. Okay, this isn't going to fit but this is what the sleeper looks like. It's super cute. It's got a little bear on the front and on the feet. It is cute and it's like a, like a nice warm material. Okay, so he's in this outfit and... I'm going to show you guys which ones I am unfortunately not keeping and going to donate. And then I'm going to tell you guys which ones I am keeping. So the ones that I are keeping are this shirt. I figure this is newborn size so if I get like a newbornish baby then it can use this shirt. It's a really cute shirt so love that. And then I also am going to keep this um, sleeveless onesie because it's super cute and it's a really soft material. It's also newborn so I can use it for newborn babies once they get added to my collection. And then Hudson can also wear it like underneath clothing if he really needed to. I'm not sure what type of clothing but you know. 
And then I also thought I'd keep this um, Harry Potter outfit for a future reborn. So, so it's newborn size, so it will fit newborn babies also. And then the rest of the clothes I am not keeping. So there's some, the sleepers are all here. And there's another one that I haven't folded. And then all of like the onesies. So uh, they will all get donated to someone who needs them, I'm sure. Thank you so much, so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you get notified when I post my next video. And we'll see you guys on Friday. Bye.